Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 67 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts. From couple of videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacles and how can we solve those obstacles while automating your test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. This is our lesson 68 in terms of overall Tricentis task training and this is our obstacle 26 in terms of real time scenarios. In this lesson, I am going to teach you how can we solve an obstacle by interacting with the dynamic table and the dynamic table contains the embedded controls like text fields and the drop down list. So how can you interact with the drop down list and how can you select the value from the drop down list by using the text control which is in another cell of your web table. So now let us go and see in detail what is the obstacle that we are going to solve for? This is our obstacle list and our obstacle name is drop down table which is categorized as medium but as far as I know this is almost like we can consider it as hard. Let us go for it and if you see here it says click generate button I am clicking on this clicking on this generate button and select write values and submit. Note that the drop down contains only one element matching the criteria. Matching the criteria. So first drop down what is the criteria? Select word that starts with letter X. Simply go here this one X scan. Select word that starts with letter R. Recover. Select word that starts with B, B I. Select word that starts with O, that starts with O. Obstacle course. Select word that starts with W, web driver. Now simply submit this. See, your automation problem is solved successfully. So what are we doing here? I need to simply click generate button. And I need to select the drop down values based on the task that is specified here. First of all, if you see, this is your table. This is your web table. And this is your first column. And this is your second column. First column has the task which talks about what drop down value to be selected. Based on these letters, you need to select the drop down value. So this drop down is under second column which is value column right you need to select the drop down value based on this letter B C and these letters are keep on changing the selection of these drop down values keeps changing based on the letters and these letters are totally dynamic in nature. So how can we solve this particular problem. So let us go to Tricentis Tosca. So before we scan, I would like to make sure that I click on generate so that I can capture all the objects generate button, the web table and submit button, right? So now let us right click on this obstacles, scan application. And this is the application that I would like to scan. Select this application, click on scan. So total three objects that I need to capture. So if you see here, this is my generate button. Select this one, which is uniquely identified. And then you also need to select submit button, which is also uniquely identified. And you need to select this table, combo box table. Select this. And I would like to also select one of this drop down button. Sorry, one of this drop down. I need not to select all the drop downs for this particular table but I can select only one drop down which is select right but when I select this drop down 
it says the selected item is not unique however i would like to keep as is because i'm gonna solve the problem while automating the test case dynamically so even though this select drop down is not uniquely identified i'm gonna make this as uniquely identified while automating our test case how i'm gonna let you know okay so i just capture generate button one entire table submit button and within this particular table i also captured the one of the drop down value okay and now you can name this particular module with the name of obstacle copy and provide the name with name of obstacle save the module and then close the module and let me simply select try again so that we can run the test case from the beginning okay so let's go back to present stoska so make sure that the module is reflecting here so what is our module our module is this one the last module double click on this and make sure all objects are reflecting generate button submit button and your web table so before i start automating the test case i have to make one small modification for select drop down because my select drop down is not uniquely identified correct why because see this particular drop downs are available within the table in one of the cell so this table has my first row this is one cell and this is my second cell second row this is my one cell and this is my second cell that means the select is that means the drop down is in inside the table row cell so that's why what i'm going to do this select button right expand this one i'm going to move this select drop down inside the cell now your select drop down is going to uniquely identified because if we specify the row number as 2 then it consider this one if you specify the row number as 3 then it consider this drop down so that means i moved the drop down into the cell so that this drop down is uniquely identified okay hope you all understand so now let us start working on our test case folder which is blue section in the left side so what i'm going to do here right click on this test case folder and create test case name this as the obstacle name that we copied earlier and then double click on this obstacle double click on this test case and then to automate the test case what i'm going to do i'm going to simply drag this module onto test case now let expand this one let's expand this one so here first what is our action you need to click on generate button so that means here i can simply enter click operation once you click on generate button then of course you will be selecting all the drop down values but you also need to click on this submit button right submit button and now how can i select the drop down values corresponding to the letters that are specified in the first column how can we achieve that now if you observe closely your drop down values are starting from the second row of the table first row is column header and this is my second row so here go here here under row i'm going to specify this as hash 2 that means i'm instructing task or to select the second row so once i select the second row what is my cell my cell is first i need to identify the letter under first column correct i need to identify the letter what is the letter based on that i need to select the value in this case s is my letter and this is my drop down value but how can i get the value of this letter so this particular text is in column 1 that means cell 1 row 
So this is my row 2 and here I am going to specify as hash 1 which is my first cell. So here under first cell I am going to perform action mode verify and I am going to use xb exclude buffer method here to store the value of this letter end of the letters right how can I do that I can simply copy this until here copy this and here I'm instructing task or to verify the first cell of second row and while verifying this entire this entire text verify until here and then store here after colon I specified the space because this has a space here right space I am calling x buffer xb open curly braces xb here I am going to specify the buffer name here I am going to say letter and close curly braces so what it does it is going to verify this entire text is matching or not and it is going to exclude the verification of this letter because this letter is dynamic in nature. I cannot verify this. I am instructing task because this is keep on changing. Exclude that. And once you exclude, once you exclude, store this letter into a buffer. What is the buffer name? Letter is the buffer name. That's why I am specifying the action mode as verify. Done. That means now I am able to store the letter here. Once I store the letter, now I need to select the drop down. Where is the drop down? My drop down is in second cell of second row. Right? That means here, this is my second row. Come to first row, perform verification, and then go to second cell. This is my first cell. Hash 2. And for second cell, here I don't want to verify this second cell. I am going to select this. Select this second cell. And under this second cell, I would like to select the value. Based on the letter that is stored here. I am going to call here under select. I am going to call the buffer which I stored here. Open curly braces capital B, open square braces, close square braces and then close curly braces, right? This is my syntax. Here, within the square braces, I am going to call the same buffer name that I stored here. I am storing the last letter here. See here, I am calling the buffer. But, my drop down value is not simply S here, right? But it has S and then something else. That's why I'm going to use the regular expression. In this case, first it stores S letter and I would like to select the drop down starts with yes. So that's why I'm going to use the regular expression asterisk. So when I run this, first it stores the value of S and then it selects the drop down that starts with yes and then anything after yes, right? Let me simply run this particular test case first. I'm gonna remove click here, right? I'm gonna simply run this particular test case. Right click and run. I want to see if it works or not. I click on generate. And then if you see here, it is selected. It has a C value and it selected C. So now we need to repeat this for all drop down values. How can we do that? Where it is very simple. It's very simple. So what, if I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy this entire, this one, this entire step. Copy this entire step and paste this here. But this time what I'm going to do here, this all remains same. This is my third row, right? This one, third row. First, second, third. And rest all remains same. Rest of the logic. Go to first cell. Store 
the last letter into your buffer and then select the drop down value with the letter that stored in buffer that's it so let's i would like to repeat this for three more times so this is two drop down values and you have three more drop down values so what i'm going to do collapse this copy this again paste here one two three i pasted three times and now simply you're going to change the row as four five and then six and then you'll be clicking on submit right so let's expand this second row third row fourth row fifth row so what we did here and let me simply repeat this what i am instructing first i am instructing task r go to second row and this is my first cell under first cell you have to store the last letter of this particular sentence into your buffer and then go to your second cell of second row this is my second cell and i am selecting this second cell of second row <clears throat> and then select drop down that starts with the letter which is stored in the buffer and how i am storing the letter into a buffer by using xb exclude buffer right so then i am repeating the same for third row fourth row fifth row sixth row and now you can simply change the state of your work state now simply you can change the work state to completed save the test case come here just may click on try again okay now let us run this particular test case and see how it works right click and run in scratch book we clicked on generate and then it selected all the drop down values correctly you solved this automation problem let me see here see here now this letter ends with t selected task up ends with v selected vn p distributed execution w the driver a accelerate so these letters keeps on changing the drop down also and drop down values also keeps on changing so you need not to worry what drop down value here right hope you all understand the concepts it is bit complex but once you understand the method it's very easy so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you oh you all understand how can we solve an obstacle where you need to interact with the dynamic table and that dynamic table contains the embedded controls like text field and the drop down list and you need to select the value from the drop down list by using the text field that contains in another cell please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos and don't forget to like and share the video thank you